the aim shot. Oh, the, oh, okay, yeah. It's just melee versus. Okay, gotcha. And we can't choose low blow. I guess there's a. Uh, you. Oh, wait. No. Stop. Okay. Uh, if if anyone if if the designers of this game are watching it, you might want to fix this, uh, because you can see it's slight interface error. Okay. Aim shot. Uh, auto perk uh, converts the chance to escape from grapples to use your reflexes rather than your physique. Uh, okay, so that's cool. There we go. Yeah, nice. There we go. And I think our aim just improves our overall... It might slightly improve our damage. Or I, I wonder if his aim just with pistols... I don't know. Anyway, we're better now. We're stronger. Gotta be with any any gun. Uh, save. What, what I meant is, is it aim with uh, ranged and melee, or does melee base off of reflexes or something? I don't know. Melee is probably physique and reflexes. Yeah, uh, yeah maybe. I, I, they probably told us, and we didn't pay attention. <laughs> okay, so, uh, do you want to keep uh, derping around in the jungle, or should we go to another planet? We still, uh, I don't think we've explored the deep jungle very well. Uh, let's, let's try and find another planet. Okay. Because there doesn't seem to be too much uh, in the way of quests on this planet. Yeah, we need to get that money. <coughs> uh, we can go to Tavro Station or New Texas? New Texas. Easy. Why not? A bright green world comes into your view. Small scattered oceans, rolling plains... Heavy loader catches onto your ship, and you go to customs and visitor check-in. All right, landing barn. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. Uh, we have lust. Should we go into the, the planet with our lust in hopes that we'll score, or should we just master yeah. and get out of our system? No, no, let's let's go there ready to go. Ready, yeah. lock and loaded. Locked and loaded. Locked. Customs office. And there's a gigantic cow person here. Uh, two desks are set up facing each other. A broad-chested, muscular bull man is sitting lazily. Okay. Uh, you can't see what? Oh, sorry, slow day. Come over, let's get you checked out. All right, Are they having go. sex in there front of us? I don't... There you go, class. Throw your lust at that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we uh, interact with these people or just uh, head north? Uh, I mean, do we have to? No, let's... we don't have to. All right, fine, let's go then. Oh, hey, buddy, what do you think? I guess we do. No weapons past this point? Oh. Uh, what, what kind of Texas is this? Yeah, jeez. More like New Berkeley. <laughs> no way. Uh, no weapons? Sorry, buddy, them's the rules. Disarm or no way? No way. Yeah. No way. Let's go to another planet. This planet sucks. We burn the landing barn down. <laughs> okay, let's fly. You want to go to Tavros or back to Mango, the jungle planet? Uh, let's go to Tavros. All right. Hey, everybody. What's tech? Let's take a quick look at this. Uh, you want? Oh, it's a, it's a person. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a apparently parent. a big purple square. Yeah. It's that we can have sex with. Vaughn is his name. Okay, let's uh, up. Okay, so this is like a this is a merchant deck, and it's like a mall. Okay. Sounds like. Currently on the merchant deck. Okay, so here let's we go. Let's go. Let's go south. Okay, Beth's Busty Broads is open for business. Definitely south. Okay, uh, which seems to be doing good business for itself. Uh, a desk has been set up near the door where a bored-looking human woman is flipping through a data slate, barely acknowledging your presence. Okay, uh, let's talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll get her to notice us. Okay, brothel mistress. Uh, welcome to Beth's Busty Broads, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the selection's pretty limited, and by that we mean we've got one slut left and she's a handful. Uh, boss was using indentured labor, but she had some kind of crisis, whatever. 
had to sell most of the contracts out. And a lot of co- a lot of customers bought at their favorites to keep them forever, or close to forever as money can buy. Uh, we've got one girl for sale right now. She's an ornery one, and uh, uh, it's 100 credits of fling. Unless you want the her contract, I wouldn't if I were you. Had to drag her off more than one burly sailor she didn't take to. Uh, I hate to see what she'd do to you, given half the chance. We're here for business, not pleasure. Yeah. Okay. How's so, business? Uh, Ask her how's business. Oh, okay. How's business? Uh, new madams whipped up a lot of new customers. Old one didn't do much. Let the place fall to shit. Uh, <coughs> I was about to put in my two weeks when she up and left. Don't know why, but things are picking up again. New girls coming in. Old ones going out. Even fixed the surround sound. <laughs> All right, yeah. So uh, we don't want to buy a slave, because then we won't be able to afford it. All right, yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, let's go to that uh, to that bar. Uh, the the mug. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's a bar, and uh, oh man, there's a bunch of people here now. Heavy alcoholic scents combined. Anon's bar and board. Three breasted waitresses balancing trays full of drinks, one handed sachet around in short skirts and sheer tops. Uh, their gait made awkward by their three legs and small feet. Rickety metal manager. Leading to the board part of the establishment. You've already roomed there once, and the accommodations were far from great. Okay, so uh, there's different people here. Let's talk to that bunny woman. Bunny woman. There you go, bunny woman. Oh, never mind. She, she's uh, ethnic. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> I thought you were a, a white rabbit. Yeah. Let's talk to the waitress. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Follow the white rabbit. Okay, talk to the waitress. Celacy. Uh, you nod to the many-breasted waitress, and she approaches... Your eyes cannot help but widen at the sight of her bust. Uh, her breasts would look massive on a human woman, each with a double E cup, yet are only moderately oversized for a tall, wide frame. Uh, you subconsciously wonder if that third leg is exactly there to support that incredible additional weight. Uh, okay, so uh, go ahead and stare. Can I get you a drink? My name's Celacy. I'll be taking care of you all night. Uh, order drink or leave? No, nah, leave. Yeah. I don't there think there's be. any money. This, this is where people go to spend money, not to make it. I don't think we're going to... Yeah. It doesn't seem right. like there's any uh, quest I mean, givers. Why not talk to the uh, the androgyne, anyway? Androgyne. Uh, <laughs> pretty boy. <laughs> well, let's ask him, what are you? Oh, that reminds me. One time in uh, in elementary school, there was, this, uh, there was this guy or girl who went to our school who we weren't quite sure if they were... Uh, a dude or a chick. So my friend, when we were passing their class in the hallway, you know how you have to like march in lines in elementary school. He was like, Hey, are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> and, uh, I, I don't know if they, the kid heard him and ignored him or if they get that question a lot, but, <laughs> uh, we luckily got away with that. So let's, let's ask. Uh, well, aren't you straightforward? I'm guessing you mean in terms of what I'm packing. Yeah. <laughs> well, this thing, he pulls down... Well, he's forward in his own right, it seems. He pulls down the cloth wrapped around his torso, slightly revealing a very flat but well-toned chest, uh, giving you a good long look before putting... Isn't isn't for decency's sake. I like to think of myself as a man, but to tell you the truth, downstairs I'm packing a little bit of both. Why... <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, well, well, that's enough. That's yeah, enough. that's, that's yeah, enough. enough. <laughs> I bet he literally can. Suit yourself. I'll be around if you ever change your mind, though. Okay. So, yeah. If we hang around here... um, No, let's go. We're we're going to end up either spending all our credits or uh, waking up next to a pretty boy. Or both. Uh, Do you want to keep... Yeah, let's go into into these shops. Okay. Uh, okay. Interior of the shop is difficult to make out thanks to the combination of dim lighting and smoky haze that smells vaguely of walnuts. 
Looking around, you manage to locate the source of the illumination. Four custom glow bulbs pumping out an unnatural-looking blue-black aura. The walls are covered in shells, a dozen of perverted-looking nicknames, many of them demonic in theme, and a lone counter in the back of the store is similarly decorated. There's a demon in the shop, and she's naked. Uh, nice. <laughs> oh, look. That fat fucking furry whore, she screams, spinning to regard you. She stole my sail. Uh, if she wants to get violent, you'll drop her. But you certainly don't like the <laughs> feel like letting her shake you while she has her tantrum. All right, let's let's ask her why she's so mad. Just like you, mad bro. Yeah. So what are you pissed off your name? Well, this short little green guy was here looking for some male enhancement, and he's loaded, right? I've got this custom mod all lined up. It would be exactly what he wants. It's a horse cock so big that it's practically a cum cannon. Okay. And this is a mod that uh, that's one shot guaranteed. <laughs> Always delivers as advertised. Her hand curls up and makes masturbating motions. Uh, but he wants to shop around. What happened? That panda bitch sold him some junky furification shit. She talked him into getting some cheap horse mod that might not even work. And it might even give him a fucking muzzle. <laughs> Long face and all. Those things are only a grand tops, though. Of course, he uh, bought one and got a stallion cock on the first try. So Jade makes another couple of credits, and I get robbed of a sale that would have, that could pay the run of this place for a year. Uh, he had the nerve to come in here, slap me in the thigh with it, call me a ripoff artist, and flutter up, flutter out on those little wings of his. Oh, man. Uh, All right, I now think let's... we can agree she's just right to be angry. Yeah, let's uh, inquire about that sex. I wonder, does, I wonder what kind of stuff does she buy? I mean, does she... Yeah, what kind I don't, of stuff does I don't she buy? I don't think we have anything, though. Yeah, we have... In storage, we have that uh, n the nip, but it doesn't sound like know. it's her kind of uh, item. Okay, what does she have to... What is she selling? Uh, I... Let's ask her for sex. That's what sex. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> that is how you ask for sex. I don't mind. What if we fuck? You're on the bottom. I like to screw hard, fast, and wet. If you don't have a problem getting in the dirt, you better be willing to bark when I say bark and spread them on command. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Plus has to go somewhere. Can't go to Tavro Station without getting laid somehow, right? Yeah. Uh, she makes you bark like a little dog. There's no <laughs> way you're actually going to bark like a little doggy. Uh, let's see. Uh, woof, you answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Oh, God, this was the, a long one. Yeah. Jeez, really elaborate. <laughs> Fuck me like a whore. I yeah. wonder if any of the viewers actually read these. I, like I said, I read the stuff when I play on my own. Oh, yeah, yeah. At least, I mean, I'm not that familiar with this game, but for Corruption of Champions. Okay, so, yeah, hours later. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, a day actually passed. <laughs> <laughs> you shudder at the thought and run off. Yeah, because suddenly you have this sense of dignity that you didn't have only minutes ago. <laughs> All right, well, um, uh. there's more shops, and there's this person icon here. I don't know. Let's just see. Uh, there's uh, the way off north is blocked off for now by a shop called Mia Moore, and then to the west is Fur Effect. Let's go to Mia Moore. Alice. Okay, so this seems to be a lingerie shop. Nah, let's let's leave. All right. We're sexy enough as is. All right. So do we? Uh, there's only one more place to explore, and then that's it. This station. Sure. Is and uh, this is uh, a panda girl is standing. Welcome to Fur Effect. Let me go. Let's see, we're trying to make money, not spend it. We got it. Yeah, we're not gonna make any money here. Yeah, I think there. I think our only option is to go back to New Texas and bend to their sissy ass laws. Yeah, yeah, it's either grind a bunch in the jungle on that other planet or go to New Texas. But uh, 
We'll see. Uh, th there's probably some opportunities to fight somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, down. Next. East. Enter ship. Maybe we'll get like a standard issue uh, Texas gun. Like they All have right. an actual Texas. West. North. Customs. Disarm. Okay, you've checked all forms of weaponry and new death systems. Uh, finish off the paperwork. Uh, you showed us a little bit. Uh, real soon. Okay. Yeah, there, there's almost as much paperwork as there is sex in this game. Okay, so there was someone under the desk. Oh, someone God, under still? under the desk blowing this guy while he was talking to us. <laughs> and she, she was in the, uh, in the picture yesterday, so that's, that's been a solid one-day blowjob. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions, Augie and, here, Augie and I are always here to answer them. Oh, wow. Uh, got a minute to chat? Uh, sure thing. Uh, okay, so uh, do we want to talk uh, to these people, or do we want to just get on, go on to New Texas, look for a place uh, to fight? Why not? Who's in charge? Who's in charge? <coughs> That'd be Big T. He's the planetary governor. His ranch house is the big one up the road. Loves meeting visitors, so you should totally go and say hi. Uh, he's even bigger than Augie here. Hey, I meant size, babe. Uh, height, height. Uh, so he's in charge of the planet's treatment production and, uh, helps us cows ship our milk all over the galaxy. Uh. Okay, so, uh. Alright. So, uh. So she says, excuse me, I need to, uh, bathroom. <laughs> Ogram grunts as she went, bigger that, slut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, ask the cowgirl what she thinks of the treatment, ask her about herself, or leave. Yeah, let's go to, uh, uh, uh Big T. Okay. Oh, we can have sex also. Should we? Sure. <laughs> okay. Pulling yourself up to Ama's desk, uh, you lean in, ask her if she'd be willing to... Da, 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 da. More intimate mouth. Uh, more intimate introduction to her planet. Maybe. Uh, uh, but we come as a pair, Ama and I. Think you can handle the two of us? Oh, no. No. I don't do that. I don't share. All right, let's just go on the planet. Unless you have more to, unless you want to talk to one of them again. No, nah, they're not interesting enough. All right, so we're on the planet. Uh, which way did they say uh, was uh, the guy's mansion? Was it? I think it was west. To the north sits a ranch house, the kind with a big elevator. So yeah, this, this oh, area sure. right yeah. here might be. Yeah. It. All right, let's see if we can get a meeting with Big T. Big T's ranch house. Is under, uh, several cowgirls, bull boys, and human tourists are on their way. Uh, uh, manager's office. Secretary's office. Uh, let's just barge in. <laughs> Seating at the imposing desk is an equally imposing woman. Even seated, she fills the room, looming above and beyond the average cowgirl. She looks your way with a firm, unwavering gaze. Uh, waiting for you to step forward and ask, should we talk to her or just go north and see if we can get an audience with Big T? Yeah, let's just go north. Oh, Fuck her. Nope. Uh. <laughs> You'll need to talk to me if you want to get in there. Why don't you save us both the time and just leave? Rude bitch. Talk All right, to her. Let's, get... Yeah, let's talk to her. Maybe we can empty ourselves before we go see uh, Big T. He says Big T isn't in right now. Well, there you go. Benjamin Tiberius T. You <laughs> uh, must have snuck. Oh, okay. He must have snuck back in when I wasn't looking, but he's busy now. Just doesn't want to. 
And then he says, Zephyr, do we have visitors? I want to meet him. Uh, fine, but they don't want to see you. Shut it. The governor doesn't have time to chat with every Tom, Dick, and Harry that manages to... Tom, Dick, or Space Mullet that wanders in here to customs. I'm not buying it, Zeph. You send it back if you want to say hi. Don't be welshing out on our bet now. Uh, fine. Uh, you want to see Big T? Just don't waste too much of his time. Uh, she's deactivated the lock. All right. Sex, sex, sex. <laughs> I don't Alex think she's... Sexer. Why not is the, yeah. the tool tip. Why not? Oh, wow. I thought she didn't like us from the way she was talking. Uh, I'm not your average cowgirl. Okay. Uh, they never are. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to hit the milkers now. But I'm no, drib I'm no dribbling idiot like most girls around these parts. She leans out. I'm bigger. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm driven. And I've got some gene work done. Uh, she has a ruby red bulbous dog cock. Uh, get fucked or mutual hand jobs. And uh, there's no option to back yeah, out. No... <laughs> hand uh... jobs. Yeah, yeah hand jobs. jobs. Lesser two. Okay. There we go. That's the part I was waiting for Sarah Han to walk into and tell tell Andre. Yeah. <laughs> I feel violated. I didn't like that. You didn't, like, you didn't, you didn't mind. You didn't mind barking like a dog while taking it up the ass on the station. <laughs> yeah, you're, kinda, you're very peculiar in particular your taste. All right, now we can finally... Uh, this, this guy's been waiting this whole time. He's like, Z are you sending him in here or not? Uh, you step through the door. <laughs> Just a second, Mr. Governor. Oh, yeah, yeah what was it? Uh, that reminds me of another scene from The Wire. Where, uh, you remember when Herc uh, goes into the mayor's office and sees him with the secretary? Oh, yeah. And then later, uh, later uh, he's telling uh, Carver about it. And he's like, uh, so what did, you, what did you do? What did you say? He's like, oh, uh, I said, uh, well, Mr. Mayor, that's a uh, good, good, uh, it's good hard <laughs> cock you got. Yeah. I see you know how to use it. What do you think I said? I didn't say anything. I just left. <laughs> All right, so here's this guy. I expected him to be uh, to be a bit bigger. I expected him to have more of like the elongated face. Yeah. Well, howdy! Welcome to New Technus, partner. Uh, his grip's vice-like, crushing down on you as he pumps your arm eagerly. Uh, I'm Benjamin Tiberius T. Although most people just call me Big T. Uh, most governors have secretaries for that sort of thing, but mine's a little ornery for it, don't you? Don't you think? Uh, uh, talk or leave? Let's talk to him. Uh, New Texas or the treatment? Uh, let's do New Texas. Fuck Ask you, him what Texas. he thinks about the planet that he rules. Yeah. It's like, well, I'm a bit biased. <laughs> this reminds me of the song, uh, Fuck You, Texas. What? Oh, there's a song uh, that uh, people used to call into this call into this one radio station and spam it, uh, and it's <laughs> it's called "Fuck You Texas." It's uh, it goes like "Fuck you Texas, fuck the Longhorn steer, fuck the fucking Alamo, and fuck something else," <laughs> and it just keeps going like that. Let's see. Uh, beautiful, friendly people, verdant open sky, peaceful and happy. So nothing like Texas. Uh, yeah, exactly. He's always complaining about not having pirates and kidnappers to shoot. Or at least uh, he does that when Emma isn't keeping him busy. Uh, yeah, I have to say that without all the violence and shooting and killing of bee people and cunt snakes, it is a little bit dull around here. 